Hi guys, it's uh, good to see you. Uh, we just got done recording last week or uh, earlier in the week, the WGI wins um, presentation for Lake Mineola High School. And it was a, a real pleasure and an honor to do that with you guys. My name is Steven Alia. Um, I am uh, the drill writer and visual designer for uh, Lake Mineola wins and for the Lake Mineola High School band and the, and the color guard and the percussion. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great relationship I have with that school and that program. And so um, as we were getting into the, the winter season, we had this opportunity to create an experience for our wind players where they got to perform uh, in a really unique setting. And we want to kind of tell you about that. Um, I'm also a member of the WGI uh, wind steering committee and, uh, you know, used, um, we, we're, all, we're really excited to use this as an opportunity to get a new group that's never done WGI wins before involved in the activity, which is awesome. So I'm going to, I'm going to ask you guys to introduce yourself uh, first, Mr. Dean. Yeah, thank you, and thank you, uh, Steve, for having us on this uh, on this interview. But again, my name is Andy Dean. I'm the band director at Lake Mineola High School. Uh, this is my fourth year uh, as a band director here, and uh, it's actually my first year doing anything um, with WJ Wins. So I've really enjoyed the uh, the learning process. So, um, Jack, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Jack Spackman. Uh, I'm a baritone player here at Lake Mineola High School. I am currently a junior. And this is also my first year doing anything with WGI, but I have marched the past two years here in the Lake Mineola High School marching band. Well, cool. Emerald. Hello, my name is Emerald Lewis, and I am currently a senior at Lake Mineola High School. I play the oboe, and I've been drum major the past three years. Awesome, awesome. So we have a, a couple of different classes represented, and uh, we're going to ask you a bit about your experience and um, you know how, how doing WGI wins uh, this year, especially with the pandemic and all that kind of crazy stuff, how it how it uh, puts you in a position to be able to have a great experience. Um, so the first question I have for the for the kids is, um, what did the show mean to you? Like, what did it mean to you to have the opportunity to do this uh, with your friends and participate in in this experience? Uh, Emerald, I'll start with you. It meant a lot to be able to do WGI wins for the first time. Usually we have the marching band season in the fall, but of course, because of the COVID-19, it um, was not what we expected to be. But because we did WGI wins, it did give the entire band program, like seniors to freshmen, all of us, the opportunity to get a taste of what marching band's all about and gives us an opportunity to try something new, which is something that we probably wouldn't have been able to do before. It was just, it meant a lot as a senior to be able to do something as a one last show for high school. Cool, awesome. Uh, Jack? Uh this show definitely meant the world to us, I think, all within the band community, because we weren't even expecting to have a show in the first place. So to be able to actually perform and to be able to create a show, uh, such as the one that we just did, was really a great experience. And it was able to give our freshmen a little bit of a taste of the sort of marching that we do in a normal season. And I hope it really excited them to get back to how it normally is eventually in the future and really promote marching later on. So interesting, you guys, we're, we're talking about this activity right now. And, and truthfully, the WGI Wins activity is going to go on for probably another three, four weeks where people can submit videos for different levels. Um, we are entering, obviously, prelims three, which is going to be next week. OK. Um, and then after that, there's semifinals and finals. But we keep talking about this in the negative like it's over. Right. <laughs> because truthfully, for us, it kind of is right. We, we we only had one chance to record. And um, because of that. It was kind of like a, a little mini season, and we've already done world championships. Our world championships experience is over. We just get to watch and see what happens. Mr. Dean, tell me how that worked out, Andy. I'll call you Andy now. This it's will fine. be cool. So, Andy, sure. tell us, Andy, tell us how that, uh, tell us why this is, why it was a one and done for us. Yeah. Well, let me start off by saying, um, like, I know every program has done, you know, for the last year because of course we're coming up on the anniversary of where this all kicked off but we've we've had safety in mind from from day one and so um we have limited ourselves to playing outside and so um you know like the students mentioned we really didn't have our traditional fall season but um we were looking at our calendar and we saw a chance to do this uh but to, to answer your question we uh with spring break starting uh, we really only had one weekend to, to film this because of the way the school calendar worked. So what we did is we kind of told our kids, um, you know, we have about five weeks to put it all together and we're going to have one day of filming. And pretty much after that point, we're going to let it, you know, take it where it takes us. And so um, it kind of made that day even more important. And the students really rode, rose to the occasion for that. So, so uh, one of the unique things about the way we put this together is that we actually we, we only had one real rehearsal where all the performers were together playing and marching. Uh, can you tell us about how that worked, Andy? 
Yeah, so um, we designed this on purpose to be um, to take advantage of the fact that right now we have block schedule. And so block schedule is new for our school. Of course, there's some pros and cons, but the pros are that it allows us to be outside and um, spend more time, you know, doing some some visual type things. So we planned the show so that the kids in my second and third periods could put it all together. Um, we really wanted to limit our after school rehearsals um, because it just makes contact tracing more difficult. It puts more of a time crunch on some of our students. So we decided to um, really build most of this into our regular school day. So like you said, we had one day to set a few dots and then we didn't really rehearse together for uh, about four and a half weeks. We, we literally had um, about half of the band in second period and the other half in third period. And so as everyone knows, trying to clean dots can be frustrating, even with one or two people missing. And we basically had, you know, 15 people missing. So it was a chance for the kids to really learn um, to, to learn how to use a coordinate sheet and read their dot cards and do all of that without relying on the normal, um, you know, visual cues that they do. And then we had a dress rehearsal and it all came together beautifully. So. So during the dress rehearsal, how long did it take before you realized that it was going to be okay? Like, you know, there was, there was, I'm sure there was trepidation. I know there was for me because uh, I hadn't seen the kids since that first rehearsal when we laid down dots because of the way the, the school's contact tracing works on campus. Sure. Um, so, how long in that, like we had what, three hours or two and a half hours, whatever it was on that on last Thursday, how long during that time did it take for you to settle down emotionally into, Yeah. okay, we're going to be okay. <laughs> well, the, the main challenge was, first of all, we, we, we didn't have yard lines. We had dots painted, but we did have some yard markers. But as you see from the, from the video, um, it's not a traditional performing space. So that in and of itself was a little nerve wracking, but um I think as soon as I knew for sure that no one had switched spots with each other, that we were good. So I don't know, um, Jack, do you want to talk about what that was like to kind of put it all together after seeing it, you know, separated for, for four and a half weeks? Yeah, it was um, definitely an adventure. It was definitely uh, a bit of a trip to try and put this all together. Um, being able to actually combine the band after being separated for so long um, was really... Um, it was, it was a challenge, not only on the ears in terms of music, but also in terms of visually, because, you know, the forms are changing. You have to adjust the people around you. And you have to look for different things. Um, but I think altogether, we pulled together and it, we really did work hard to kind of put ourselves into a position to succeed because everyone was giving it their all within their own personal periods. And so by working musically and visually together, uh, it really sort of just meshed well finally, when we did make the final product. So Emerald, one of the coolest parts about the production and, and it, you know, Mr. Dean and I, we were really proud of this, obviously, because we thought it was really unique and cool, is that like, instead of performing on a tarp in a gym, like you normally would do for WJ Wins, we chose to go outside and we chose to put it in a unique environment, right? We were in the Trailhead Park in Mineola and, um, uh, you know, like literally amongst a bunch of trees that were in the way and ground that was uneven and um, you know, I, sometimes, uh, sometimes when we were, we were marching around, there literally looked like we had pig pen from the Peanuts characters there because all the, you know, we were crunching all the leaves and all the dust was coming up. But uh, tell me, how, how, what did you think about the environment? How was, how was that different or unique or cool for you? Going from a traditional football field to being outside at Lake Mignola, like Trailhead Park, it was definitely a challenge for especially like the the veteran members, honestly, everyone was a challenge because it was now it was rocky, it was leaves, it was slippery, there was dirt, but it was also really awesome to be out in nature and be able to perform something instead of being in a gym like everyone else. We were outside enjoying the wonderful parks in our area and it kind of almost represented when quarantine started, a lot of people began going outside more and kind of represented that also a little bit that we could all spend time together outside, hanging out with friends and making awesome music. That's awesome. Very cool. So what was your, uh, what was your favorite part of the experience? We're going to jump ahead a couple questions. So tell me what your very favorite part of your best memory was of the experience. Um, uh, Andy, what was your favorite part? Hmm. Well, I think just to know, I mean, in general that we were, we were giving our kids almost a season they thought they had lost. I mean, that's a very general question, but I just know that this project gave us um, a sense of meaning and purpose when um, otherwise I think it would have been hard to stay motivated. So I just knew, you know, every day coming to work and, and being um, with the kids and having that goal in mind, it was really a good, um, you know, motivator. Um, probably one of my favorite parts is I actually teared up at the end of our first rehearsal because I was just overwhelmed 
with emotion that um, we were actually getting to put something together on a year that we thought was kind of um, lost. So um, that one caught me by surprise. But yeah, I, I think as far as musically, uh, I would have to say one of my favorite moments was the uh, last 30 seconds of the of the of the ballad. Um, where we had this really nice style change in the brass and that leads right into of our closer and uh, there's a really really awesome high brass moment that they just really nailed on the recording so i would say like i've i've been looping those 30 seconds um you know over and over again because it's just i'm so proud of how it turned out sure amber what was your favorite what was your favorite part or best memory my favorite part about this whole experience i'm one to like the grind of practicing and rehearsing together and just being able to spend what, three hours twice pretty much with the band and just spending time with people that I normally would see every single day just playing music and all that stuff really meant a lot because it kind of showed me what I'm gonna miss about high school which is the band honestly and then I also enjoyed even when I'm hiding behind the trees it was so awesome to just hear everything come together even from the backfield just hearing the baritones play and like the feature in the first movement it was really awesome. So Emerald, this is really interesting. You're actually the drum major. You've been the drum major of the of the marching band for the past couple of years. And this year you actually got to perform in March. And like, you, I, you, I had to write dots for you. It was kind of fun. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, so so what was different about that? What was the, what was that cool? Was it different? It was very cool. I'm so honored to be able to be a soloist in this show. And it was just a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. And it was definitely a challenge because oboes normally don't march and it was my first time marching and learning dots and it was just awesome. Cool. Great in case she, my senior oh, year. Go ahead. Oh, in case she doesn't say it, Emerald was also, um, or is an all state oboist this year. And, you know, Florida, you know, did make the decision to, to not move forward with hosting those. So we feel like any opportunity that she had to show off, you know, when you have an all state oboist yeah. to be able to include them in a marching production with a plastic oboe, um, was, it was a great <laughs> opportunity. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jack, what were your what were some of your favorite memories? My favorite moments? memories was definitely the developmental process that I saw because I was in uh, one of the class periods where there were a lot of freshmen within that class period, and my section itself uh, was consisted of seven members, uh, four of which were freshmen, uh, all four of which were in my class period, and being able to watch them as they sort of developed certain skills within marching band, um, both musically and visually, uh, was actually probably the most like entertaining part for me not only entertaining but it just uh it made me really happy to know that people were you know learning these techniques that we would be learning during a normal season but um they were able to take you know the sort of situation that we were given and make the most of it and just watching them grow and then come out to perform and perform the way they did was definitely the best part of the show for me because i got to watch you know these freshmen uh, baritone players really become a uh, true marching baritone players. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I, I also was moved by that, you know, kids that I hadn't seen in previous seasons and all of a sudden they're out there and they're figuring it out. And it was, you know, it's, it's one thing to, to fit, to watch them figure it out over, you know, like a pre-camp in June and then two weeks of band camp and then a whole March band season. But this was like all of that shoved into five weeks and how well they performed in that situation was, was really unbelievably remarkable. And I thought it was super cool. Mr. Dean, let's, uh, let's end with, uh, let's end with you just kind of telling us what, it, what being a part of WGI wins in 2021 means to you. And you're well, back. sure. Um, you know, you and I had discussions in the fall and I, I credit you for helping me think this way, but you know, so, so many of us look at the last year and what we've lost and how we, you know, get it back or how this and that. And, and you and I kind of decided to maybe put that, um, that lens away and instead look at what do we get to do. And so the, 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 the engine behind all of this is, um, as you mentioned, we, we were free to go anywhere. And so it was a really interesting, creative um, idea that we could pick any venue we wanted. And um, what was kind of special is uh, we planned it so that we could um, simulate the park on our school campus. So um, we actually dotted our field like normal, but we, we outlined some trees and stumps and reminded our, our kids like, hey, don't march through that because that's a tree. But <laughs> we, we, and I don't think anyone did, fortunately, but um, we went through this process as a how do we do something we wouldn't normally do. And, and this was a really unique um, way to, to, to try something new for the program and um, you know, the school did, did have an, um, 
WJ Wins Ensemble back in 2017, but that was the more traditional gym with a floor, which of course has its merits. It's great. But for us to get to do something special and be outside and, um, you know, give our students an opportunity, it, it really meant, um, meant a lot to our program. I think it's going to go down as a highlight for our year, for sure. Cool. Awesome. Well, I'm super proud of all of you. You guys did a great job. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure you're going to really enjoy watching that video in prelims next weekend. Uh, in Scholastic A of week three. And I, I know I'm excited. I'm super proud of all of you and super proud of what we accomplished. So congratulations to all of you for an amazing, amazing, short little compact WGI win season. And uh, we'll see what happens. It would be, it sure would be great to be able to see that video on more than one level. We're going to be the, probably the only group that doesn't try to make a better video. We just, we got what we got. And, yep. and I think it's pretty awesome and something to be really proud of. So congratulations to all of you. And thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Bye now. See ya. Thank you. Bye.